narcissistic women, y'all can go fuck yourselves. Every last one is. Yeah, go fuck yourself. <clears throat> so, story is, I rejected a model the other day. Yeah, this chick was an up and coming model, had hundreds of thousands of followers on Instagram and shit like that. And she hit me up through my YouTube channel. Um, I think she was very gorgeous physically. She's a very gorgeous woman. And she seemed cool at first, right? So that's how it went down. She hit me up through my email on my YouTube channel saying something along the lines that she appreciates my channel and that she's feeling uh, lonely and wants to talk to somebody. And, and she sent me a link to uh, her Instagram. Now, at first, I didn't know what she looked like. I didn't know any of this. And I looked her up. And I found, again, this 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 model on Instagram, like legitimate. Like, she's not, she hasn't made it yet, but she's on her way. Again, like I said, she had like 112,000 followers and shit like that. And had all these, like, different modeling shots and, like, professional shots and, like, run, run runway shots and shit like that. So, like, she's real deal climbing her way up into that world, right? And I thought, this can't be the chick. Nah. So I emailed her back and said, hey, uh, I went ahead and clicked follow and um, sent that sent that uh, Instagram account a message. And I was like, <coughs> emailed her back and I said, hey, I think I found the wrong uh, Instagram. It was, it was, it's some sort of model. Um, you know, hit me back up. Maybe you got to drop the letter or something like that in the link to your Instagram or something or another. And she was like, no, that's me. I was like, oh, shit. And... You know, of course, she accepted the request. I went through, checked out her pictures, and um, I ain't gonna lie, I thought she was very attractive. But I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try and. She didn't come at me in that sort of way, and this channel ain't about that. So I try not to make it about that. And so I tried to talk to her, like, in a professional kind of manner as best I could. I mean, I'm no counselor, but a lot of people hit me up through my channel just wanting to be heard. You know what I mean? Like a lot of guys who are attracted to trans women, of course, trans women, and just people innately curious about, you know, guys like me, I guess. So, but anyway, so we kept it kind of chill, sent some voicemails back, of, uh, voice messages back and forth. She was telling about what she was going through and all this, that, and the other. And I told her about some of my trials and tribulations and dealing with family because she was having some, some family issues. And I thought everything was cool, right? And then on Saturday... Uh, she, uh, she hit me up, uh, asked me what I was doing that day. I was like, well, I'm at work. And then after work, I'm going to go lift weights and go watch a movie at the movie theaters, which I ended up not doing. I just lifted weights and ran out in the, the damn cold, got a little wind burn on my face. But anyways, moving on. <coughs> and, um, she was like, well, you should just come to, to LA and just marry me. And we should go see that movie together. And I was like, well, okay. That was a complete... 180 from what we were doing before, you know, talking about, you know, family issues, this, that, and the other. And it was a complete 180. And I'm like, all right. Uh, you know, of course, I, I didn't text her, all right. I was going to marry her. But, but <coughs> <coughs> she sent me her number and she told me to ask me to call her. And I was like, I'll call you after work. I'm at work right now. Um, I'm going to get something to eat right after work and then I'll give you a call. So, I did. I gave her a call and I was relaxed. I was chill. Say, hey, how you doing? Da 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 da. You know, I called her by her name, of course. I'm not going to say that on here. Um, but yeah, we just had a cool little, to me, a laid back first conversation. How are you doing? How's the weather? You, you're getting to know somebody, the initial stages, right? Well, she caught all in her feelings like, well, you seem to be awful busy right now. Um, you know, I guess I'll just go. I'm like, I'm not really busy. I guess she thought, I mean, at first I was thinking she just thought she was a bother or something. I was like, no, I'm not, not busy. You know, it's all cool. Like the only thing I got planned today, like I said, is lift weights and maybe go see a movie. Um, what's up? What do you want to talk about? Oh, I don't know. You just seem awfully busy. Da, da, da. I'm like, I'm not, like I said, um, and then she was like, um, she kept bringing that up and I was like, all right, well, I guess you seem like maybe you're busy, so I'm going to let you go. 
I'm gonna go do my thing and whatnot. You know, I guess text me or whatever. And she's like, yeah, okay, bye. I was like, all right, cool. And click, hung up the phone. And I thought, a little awkward. And I thought there was something going on there, but I thought, I didn't think too heavily into it. And then she sends me this message, right? Going on, so like, this is the problem, you see. Um, when a girl is up front and whatnot, men don't want women who are up front and this, that, and the other. You know, they want women that will play games and all this other. I was like, first of all, no, I don't want a woman who plays games. Uh, second of all, where are you coming at with this? Like, you completely misread this situation. I don't get why you're, you're in your feelings right now. And she's like, well, you didn't seem all that excited to be talking to me. And I was like, well, it's a first conversation. We're just kind of relaxed, chill, getting to know each other, you know? Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, my God, it's such and such and such and such. Yeah, I'm not going to be geeking out like that. Like, you're a person just like I am, you know what I mean? Despite how many followers you have on Instagram, despite how much money you have in the bank account, whether you're broke or you're a fucking millionaire, you're a fucking person just like me. <laughs> and, um... You know, she kept going back and forth on this, and I was just like, look, listen, I'm not a simp. I'm not a bitch. I'm not going to be fucking, you know, running after you drooling or whatever. You know, of course, you know, I'd love to get to know you and talk to you some more and what, whatnot. But, like, again, I'm not going to be simping over you, you know what I mean? Like, I've never really been a simp in my life, but there's been times where I borderlined on it, to be honest. Like, old me probably would have, like, pivoted. And I wouldn't have completely given her away, but I would have, like, did a middle ground, but not anymore. Well, we're texting, right? And then it gets a little harsh, right? And a little harsher, because she's, like, kind of upset with me or whatever. And then she's going on and on at how she said to me. And I, I had the whole texting conversation uh, screenshotted and saved. So if anybody's interested and in, in to know what guys like me who are open on social media platforms, some of the things that we end up going through... And not just guys who date, you know, trans women, but just guys in dating in general, which women have their stories, and so do us guys. So if you're interested in the scene and to know that I'm not making this other like bullshit, I have the screenshot saved. Um, you can hit me up my email account, and I'll, of course I'll scribble out the name, the number. You will not know who this person is, and I'm not going to tell you who this person is, because even though they were an asshole, I'm not going to put them on blast like that. That ain't what I'm about. I ain't going to do that. You know, <clears throat> actually, the, the, uh, there's a Facebook group I'm a part of that I'm going to be posting these pictures on. And again, I always scribble out the, the, the name, if there is a name on it, and the number. Nobody's going to know who this person is. Just to show you an example of some of the things that men go through. But um, anyways, back to the subject at hand. And she basically said to me that she wants a man to chase after her which, that's one preference. I get that a little bit to be pursued, right? Cool. But then she said that she wants a man to beg for her attention. And then she said that I should be grateful that she gave me her number. Yeah, she gave me her number. I should be grateful for that. Whoa, what? <clears throat> I should be grateful? I should be grateful? Wow, all right. And I texted her back, I'm paraphrasing, but I was like, wow, okay. Um, thank you for your brutal honesty. I greatly appreciate it, which I do, because I dodged a bullet. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, she went on about how, how I'm going to be a simp for a manly ass woman or so on and so forth. And she was just being negative and, and, and fucked up as hell. And I was just like, listen. You know, I, I didn't curse her out. I didn't call her any names back. I just said that, listen, I am not going to cater to somebody who has, I, um, what did I say? Something to the effect, I'm not going to cater to somebody who has, who is, ego, who has a, an egotistical delusional ego, paraphrasing a bit, not going to, not going to cater to that. Um, you know, you're obviously viewing me as less than, I'm not less than. And, um, yeah, you have a good one, you know. So, if you want to, if you're curious about the conversation, hit me up my email. You will not see the number nor the name, which I don't think I have her name saved. But, yeah, I'll gladly send you the, the texting conversation. <laughs> <coughs> and you won't know who it is. 
by the conversation. So don't think you're going to try and play detective and figure it out. But yeah, a little story time for you. Uh, I rejected him. Uh, I turned down a mod. Reject is kind of a harsh word, but essentially that's what I did because not based on her looks. Cause she, she, she was gorgeous. I turned her down based on her personality. That, that was just atrocious. And I, I understand there's probably some sort of, you know, some sort of trauma there or, you know, she's probably been fucked over in the past. I get it. But at the same time, that does not give you an excuse to be a fucking asshole. If you're a fucking asshole, it's no excuse. Because <clears throat> everybody at some point in their life has been fucked over. Some more fucked over than, uh, fucked over than others. <clears throat> Man, my voice is so dry. <clears throat> my voice don't normally sound like this. It's cold ass air and all the salt they're putting on the roads is fucking up my voice. But anyways, it doesn't give you the right to be an asshole, alright? So, if you watched this far, thank y'all for watching. Peace.